Good morning, Joe Cerrone. And Al Rosen. Welcome to KID 116 with our weekly Zoom meeting. Today is September 17th, and we're going to go through Module 3, Assignments. Al has gone and set things up as usual with the links for how to do the assignments. If we look at the main splash page, and we'll look at this briefly and then we'll come back to it, we have this general design project, which is an absolute and relative polar coordinate uh, drawing. And then we have videos of how to do these module three drawing plates. And they're meant to be just, just basic draw and edit commands. There's also a mechanical drawing or an architectural drawing. So the assignment composes of First, the number one, second, the five plates, and third, your choice of either the mechanical or the architectural drawing. You can download the plates by clicking on the DWT file extension and selecting open, and you'll get the blank plate. You can download the B size title block for the mechanical drawing by clicking on that and selecting open. And you can download the architectural title block the same way if you decide to do the architectural one instead of the mechanical one. The reason that we give you the templates is because they're set up for you with the layers, dimension styles, text, etc. I'm going to switch my interface back to 2D drafting and annotation. And we'll switch back into our D2L. Last week we covered module two. And there's a post for that. Taking a look at content, module three. Again, we like to use little pictures of what to draw. And so here's the mechanical assignment, draw these five plates. And then these other two drawings, either the mechanical or the architectural. And there's a bonus there, by the way. Right, there's this bonus steer plan drawing. This link goes to our old Oakton CAD website. And so there's quite a bit of tips and tricks in here. Um, but we're migrating more towards the D2L as we are working with the, the program these days. And so this is starting to just be a reference for students. And so we spent a lot of time getting these things together, but now that D2L is up and running and relatively efficient, uh, this is, is for reference. All right. So those are the CAD assignments for module three. If we take a look at them, here's our plate number six. And in order to draw this, again, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this little arrow here, show your menu bar, and then make sure that your grid and your snap are active. And so if we go to tools, drafting settings, enable snap and enable grid. Polar tracking, we, we like to use. Object snap really won't be needed in this assignment. So I'm going to disable the object snap and the object snap tracking. And I'll say OK. I'm just going to change the colors rather than to redo this whole thing on top of it. And so I'm just going to go with, uh, let's go with orange today. And how we would draw that would be to use the circle command. And you'll notice that with the snap on, it grabs these points. Thanks, Al. And again, you know, you can right click, repeat the circle command. When you draw the circles, move the mouse at 90 degree angles. So go to 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock. You don't have to draw them all like this, the slow way. You can draw one and copy it by saying copy as a modify command. And then if I click on these two, got one more person in the waiting room, hit enter where you want to copy it from and where you want to copy it to. And so we can copy these other geometries. 
and then hit escape. And then we can do the arc. I usually use a three point arc, one, two. I've been goofing up with this arc quite a bit, Al. I don't know what it is. One. Remember, you gotta start with, that's right, there you go. They like to go counterclockwise, that was the trick. And so when you start, think about making the connections counterclockwise. And then lastly, we have a circle like this. Be sure to update the title block. You can double click on the date. You will lose a point if you don't. Otherwise, when you get into this business, it's hard to know what the latest edition of the drawing is. By having the dates on there, you can at least create a timeline for when the drawings were made. You want to change it too, please, to uh, different day. Can you, you see it again, Al? Yeah, the date is 02-17-19. Uh, that would be smart. There you go. Thank you very much. All right. So the plates are, are not supposed to be real difficult, but they do give you the ability to start to troubleshoot and work with these drawings. You'll find it when Joe and Al does it, do the drawings that they, they tend to look easier. We've been teaching these classes for a while and I remember where the students would say, well, yeah, but when I do it, I, I make one mistake and then I'm off track. And so we try not to make them too difficult in the beginning aspects using line command, using the circle command, trim, erase, you can modify things with grips, but the idea is to build confidence and to get to know how to use the drawing components of AutoCAD. And again, be sure to update the dates. And by the way, we can I have dimensions on these. All we're using is the coordinates for X, Y, Z, X, Y for our grid pattern. That's all we're using. Right, so it's just a piece of graph paper that we're, we're tracing over. When you get into some of the other mechanical assignments, um, here's a good example. This one's a little bit tricky. It's not complete. Um, I'll need to see what it looks like. It's kind of, um, reminds me of the old slot cars when, uh, when I was a kid, um, they would have slot car tracks that you would put on and the cars would go under and over. And so you have to be able to trim out these different lines. And so as we look at this drawing over here, uh, what we're gonna see is that we're gonna need to trim this one here. And so if we come back, that one's already been trimmed, so that one's good. Let's see what the other one is. Then it goes over and then it over here it goes under. So let's trim that. So to trim these, there's a couple of different ways. One way, the fastest way, in my opinion, is to use a grip. You can just click on the grip, pull it back, click on the next grip, pull it back. Grips are one of my favorite things with AutoCAD. Or you can trim. And trim works like this. We say trim. We hit enter to make everything a cutting line. And then we pull the lines back and it will trim them to the last segment or to the next segment, I guess would be the correct terminology. And then uh, I think this one probably, let's just take a look. Yes, it drives over. So when we trim these, the thing you have to be careful of is is when you trim it this way. Older versions of AutoCAD would not let you trim this line to zero length. It would give you an error, but 2021 lets you now. So somebody must have decided that that was a uh, unnecessary. And then if we look at this one, uh, again, we can use grips. Bring these back.
it escape. It's not perfectly on center. If you want to center it, you can move it. You can select the move command, select a window around the part. Notice too that in the command line, it will tell you how many objects were selected, or at least I thought it did. We hit enter, we'll give it the base point. We hit enter, we give it the base point, and then we'll just move it over so that it's even on the page. Update the dates. I think we did that twice, so I don't think there's a reason to do that other than to tell you to do it. This plate is a little bit tricky because originally we designed these um, for pencil drawing. I used to use these when I was a high school teacher in Roselle, um, industrial arts. And so we would give the, the students a big stack of these drawings to go through and start to draw. And the way that this one is drawn would be to start with a circle and to work it from the center Notice the snap is not on. And so even though I'm pretty close, this is not close enough in the CAD world. CAD is extremely precise. If I were to click on that, I'll see that it's not 0.5 in radius. So I'm gonna delete it. And then I'm gonna turn on my snap. Tools, drafting settings, grid and snap, F9 or snap on enable. And then I'll make a circle Repeat it and repeat. And then we make the diamond 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 6, 3, back to 12. Hit escape. These arcs, what's difficult about them is that they won't exactly, and let's do them counterclockwise this time, they won't exactly hit the mark because the grid snap doesn't go there. And so if you do it with the grid on it like this, it looks close, but it's not quite right. And so what you need to do here is make a construction line. And so make a construction line with the polar enabled. And with polar enabled, you'll get these tracking lines. And so this works like this, line, and then with polar enabled, you'll notice I get these tracking lines when it gets to 45 degrees right there. Click 135 for that point. Here it would be 45. So that would be zero, 45. And then when you do the arcs, you can, when you draw the arcs, you can draw them from Wrong this way. point. Wrong way. Use the intersection I'll make it work, I hope. Uh, F9, I need to turn off the snap. Try it again, there we go. And then this one, F9, turn on the snap. You're right, always Al's right. But watch this, Al. <laughs> so I'll figure out how to make that work. It, again, it's not quite there. Uh, F9, turn off the snap. And then we'll use shift right mouse click intersection. We can make anything look really difficult if we try hard enough, right Al? Yes, yeah, sir. And so that's how to do this plate. Uh, that's just the tip and trick to get it to be exactly tangent. You can see it a little better with the line weights off. With the line weights on, it, it thickens these up and you can kind of see when they don't meet. And so here's an example of one that's not correct. CAD is a very precise tool. These are just shapes. We're just training you to be accurate with those. Save the drawings, file, save as. And I've been saving these as, I, I had the first five plates on it and I just added. And so down here at the bottom on these layout tabs, you can just continue to add layout tabs like you do on an Excel spreadsheet. And so I'm just gonna add an X to this because I've done this a couple of times. And then, like I was saying, if you wanna have an additional plate, what you can do is you can right click on the tab and say move or copy. And then you can create a copy of that plate. I can move it to the end, I can say okay. And then when I come down here to these plates at the end,
there's uh, another plate. I think I, I thought there was one more that looked like this. Um, you can have additional plates on it. And so this drawing here is a good example of how you would do create this drawing with the rectangle command. So you can create a rectangle and then another rectangle. And then you can use the fillet command. And when you use the fillet command, sometimes, depending on how it was last set up, you need to set up the radius. And so when you say fillet, you need to click the down arrow and select radius, and then make sure that's set for 0.5, because it's our grid pattern spacing. And I click on this line, and you can click on this line. Repeat. Or Joe. Before you do it, else, hit repeat, hit repeat, and then also go down with one arrow down. Arrow down, please, and say multiple. And now you have activated until you finish it all. Keep on going. Right. You're set. That avoids you have to redoing the activation of the same command you just recently used. Right. Um, it's a funny world we live in, you know. I remember when we had to get up to change the TV channels. Now everything's automatic. And, you know, they're, they're meant to be relatively quick. This can be a little tricky getting them to trim like this. And so what you have to do is explode this here because it's a polyline when it's first created and then I think we have to trim it or we, we will wind up right creating another line so I'm going to trim it and then when I fill it it it'll work and again we we need to trim this part back. So a lot of trimming, modify commands like fillet. Save the drawing, place it in the Dropbox, and you've got this component for module three complete. All right, let's go back and take a look at the other drawing assignments. And so there is a mechanical drawing assignment and there's an architectural drawing assignment. You can find the videos for those here. And so here's the video for the mechanical. If I click on it, And some of the videos might Module not be three, mechanical drawing. exactly to the 2021 version, but there are such basic commands for us to continue to create a new video every time. We can do that if, 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 if it's blatantly different, but if it's not, um, just ask us for help if there's something that you notice. A lot of times AutoCAD just changes the colors of the buttons. And so here you can see the buttons are white instead of gray. Um, small things like that. And so you download the B-size title block, and then we demonstrate how to go through and do the construction. And if you don't like the command line bar ribbon, certain colors, they can be changed anytime you want with the option command. Right. There's a lot of customization that's available within CAD. And so that's the video for the mechanical, and then the video for the architectural, right here. And I have two parts. I think, um, I think we added some, some uh, features to the drawing. I think I did some background patterns on it, kind of enhanced it a little bit. And so we talk about going through downloading the title block. You can tell a title block's been downloaded because I can see the layout tabs here. And then we walk you through basic construction of the home or of the elevation. No, they're not exactly perfect architectural drawings because we're in a basic AutoCAD class and we wanna get a little bit more 
competent with the program before we start going into more details. And we will, we'll do floor plans, we'll do a number of other assignments. But again, here's the video that shows you how to go through and to do the architectural drawing assignment. So choose either the architectural or the mechanical. The videos are there. If you want to do extra credit, there's a steer plan drawing here. With the pandemic, a lot of people just like to have something to do. Chapter three has a lot of interesting drawings. This would be bonus content. Al, I think we're going to need to start to, to um, label these because there's some really great drawing problems in here at the end of the chapter that we can do. But this is not required. This is just, it's like a book. You don't have to do every assignment within the book. So as we start to develop the modules, there's content in there that doesn't necessarily have to be done. You just have to follow the directions and the directions are on the main splash page. All right. And then there's lab 3B, there's a toolbar quiz. Al, I think we're gonna to need to take that out or move that to the next one. We'll go through and do a PowerPoint on the chapter after we end this video. And then there's a, a video tutorial. This I believe is the- General design. Right, this is kind of just what I just did. Right. Right. All right, so with that, I'm gonna go back to the main splash page. Be sure to turn in your drawings to the assignments folder here. So if I switch over to a student view and then I go to the assignments, module one, two, and three. This is module three, you click on it. Here's the rubric on how that drawing will be graded. And then you can add your file, locate it, upload it, and it'll give you a email that tells you that you have submitted the drawing exercise. And so as we go through and we start to do these. Click on one of them, please. Yeah. My drawing's escaping me where I saved it, but um, either way, I'll just put something else in there for now. So, well, let me cancel it. So if I go back here, where's my drawing at? Right here. Save as, save the drawings as your initials. And this one is one through 10. I could just save it as plate five through 10. And then I'll put this in a directory, I can find it. Switching back to how to turn in the assignment. it is. Open it, add it, and then you could give us some information. Uh, let's say um, you haven't completed it, but you have a question about it. It's not working correctly. Uh, you can submit it and say, don't, don't grade it. Please, here it is. Questions, answers, whatever else you can put in there. And send us an email just making sure that uh, we're aware of it. Right, it's a good way to communicate if you have some difficulties, you can, you can note those and then as we grade it, we can give you feedback and show you how to, how to fix any of those problems. So with that, I'm gonna end this video and then we'll go into the lecture on the PowerPoint for chapter three.